A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem Bismillah Rahman Rahim Assalamu alaikum everybody This is Yusuf Azhar Just wanted to uh, share some notes with you Sheikh Hamza Yusuf He delivered the uh, Juma Khutbah At MCC East Bay in Pleasanton today And um, I took some notes I uh, thought they would be useful for you as well um, He gave some really good action steps For the last 10 days of Ramadan And I uh, wanted to share, share those with you So number one he said that just like professionals such as doctors have continuous learning to keep their knowledge up to date, similarly Muslims should use Ramadan to return to the madrasa of the Quran. Number two, partake in Qiyam al-Layl, even if it is as simple as making intention to pray two rak'at of nafil after every Isha prayer. Number three, be patient. The Prophet wasallam he called Ramadan shahr al-sabr, the month of patience. Number four, do not fight. If you do fight in Ramadan, it's an indication that there's something wrong with the way you're fasting. Number five, some scholars say that you should look for Laylatul Qadr in every night of the year, not just in Ramadan or the last 10 nights of Ramadan. The Sahaba radiallahu anhu, they used to spend six months before Ramadan praying that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala let them see Ramadan, and then the six months after Ramadan, praying that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from them. Then Shaykh Hamza went into some detail about being patient through trials. He reminded us that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with us. He's not an absentee landlord. He didn't abandon us no matter how bad it looks. And we should understand that the rahmah, the mercy of the dunya, is that whatever difficulty we're going through in this life, it's still better than punishment in the akhirah. Our ummah re resembles the un ummah of Bani Israel. And they went through extreme trials and hardships under Fir'aun. So it's all about being patient through adversity and being grateful for blessings. And it's a very high maqam for a person. Some people can do this, that they have gratitude in adversity. He reminds us that the prophets, their tribulations were a means of elevation. For us, tribulations are usually a means of cleansing. Some people, they witness difficulty. And then they start asking, where is God? But a better question is, where are you? Because we should know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He is always with us. And Shaykh Hamza also talked about Muslim attitudes. Uh, he reminded us that in the Quran, there's very specific categories for different types of non-Muslims. But when it comes to Muslims, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addresses us as one. So the Muslims should be united. In reality, unfortunately, what happens is we do the opposite. We create divisions amongst ourselves and fight amongst ourselves, but we treat the non-Muslims as a single entity. And unfortunately, we don't necessarily treat them in a very good way. When in reality, if there's non-Muslims who are good to us, we should be good to them. He also mentioned that anybody sowing divisiveness in the ummah now, he considers that person a shaitan. And he gave us another tip which was that we should pray for mercy, not justice. So we keep demanding justice. People are always talking about wanting justice, but we don't want it for ourselves. We want mercy for ourselves. No one stands on Arafah begging for justice. He also mentioned that we should look at how the Prophet Sallallahu how he treated uh, um, non-Muslims, how Salahuddin al Ayyubi, Rahimahullah, how he treated the Crusaders. And in the past, when something would go wrong, Muslims would ask, what did we do? All right. Next tip, number seven, get some portion of the last 10 nights of Ramadan. Do what you can. Maybe you work, maybe you can't stay up all night long, but at least try to get some piece of it. Number eight, be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to people. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions that if we're grateful to him, he'll increase his favor on us. But he also mentions that few of his servants are grateful. There's a hadith that says that a person who doesn't think small things doesn't think big things. There's another hadith that says that a person who doesn't thank people doesn't thank Allah. Okay, tip number nine, don't whine. The more you whine, the more Allah Ta'ala gives you to whine about. But the more you're grateful, the more Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala gives you to be grateful for. And the last tip he mentioned was to pay Zakat al-Fitr. It's an important part of Ramadan. So make sure that you pay it on time. So those are the 10 tips I gathered from uh, Shaykh Hamza Yusuf's khutbah today. Uh, I hope they were beneficial to you. And uh, I appreciate it if you could let me know if this was beneficial or not, and let me know how I can improve. If you felt that this was useful, please do share it with other people who can benefit. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant all of you a Mubarak Ramadan and to accept all of your ibadah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.